Hey everybody, I want to talk to you today about um, a couple books that I, um, a new one and an old one. So the new book is this one right here, Effort and Divided by Ernesto Cisneros. Now, I first came across this book about a year ago when I saw the cover art. And let's just take a look at the cover art. It is absolutely beautiful. How could you not want to read a book like this? And so I saw the saw the cover art and I started following the author on Twitter, Ernesto Cisneros, and Turns out he's a teacher, just like me, uh, teaches eighth grade English um, instead of seventh grade English, like I do. Um, and so I knew that as soon as this book came out, I was going to snap it up, and I did. And so this book is about this boy, Efren, and Efren is uh, a seventh grader. Um, he He's living his everyday seventh grade life. What we learn about him in the in the opening pages, he has uh, two younger siblings, twins, who kind of make him crazy. They're five years old, so of course they make him crazy. And his parents, uh, his parents were both born in Mexico. Efren and his and his siblings were born in the United States. Efren's parents are not documented, which means that when we meet them, they are immediately nervous whenever they see police officers, whenever they hear about, whenever they hear uh, helicopters circling in the neighborhood, when they hear about an ice raid that may be coming. And we see how that impacts their everyday life. Um, Efren is doing fine. He's a star student at school. Um, he's, th he's, he's got a real good friend named David. He's helping him run for, <clears throat> you know, run for school president. And Everything is going fine. Very early in the book, however, one day Efren's mother does not return uh, from, from a job interview and they learn that she has been deported. So the book is about, is about Efren dealing with his new reality. Number one, he now has to take care of his siblings. Uh, his father is working, is working um, extra because the family needs the money. And all the time, they're trying to figure out how are they going to get his mother back. And it's a great story. As one of my students said the other day, it's a story that everyone should read because things like this are happening right now. There are families that are being separated right now. And, and um, so it's just a, a really poignant story. It's a really important story for this moment in our history. But the truth is things like this have been happening for, uh, for decades. And so uh, I am really grateful that this book is out there. Efren Divided, Ernesto Cisneros. This is great for any, you know, anybody, I'd say probably fourth grade and up. It's a really, really good book. And one of the things that I really like about it, because it's written by a teacher, there are lots of little um, teacher Easter eggs in there. Uh, if you are a teacher like me, you'll appreciate this. And one of the things that I love is that one day Efren is in the library and um, a friend recommends a book to him and hands him The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. And that's the other book that I want to talk about. Uh, I wish that I had the book to hold up to you, but um, my three copies are in my classroom right now. Um, the House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. This is, um, you know, she is like the godmother of Latinx literature. And, you know, she wrote about this girl named Esperanza growing up in Chicago and, 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 it was a. I came across this book when I was, um, when I was in uh, getting my teacher, my teaching credential in a methods class, and I have loved it ever since. I read one of the stories. My name I, is the first thing I read with my students every single year. So I think it would be really great to pair these two books together, um, to maybe first read, maybe first read um, Efren Divided, and then after that, show your kids. The House on Mango Street, so that you can see what it was that was inspiring Efren. So check out those two books. This one right here, Efren Divided by Ernesto Cisneros, and then The House on Mango Street. If you haven't read that, you must read that. The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. Great book. One of my all-time favorites. So there you go. There's two great books for you. Bye-bye.